Hello everyone and welcome back to Yakuza 5 Remastered. In the last session we seem to be coming to the end of Sejima's second prison arc here in Yakuza 5 and uh, we are we are getting involved with some main story bits now like we've heard about the supposed death of Majima. I still don't believe that but uh, <laughs> we'll see where they take that and uh, we are going to chat some more with the uh, the deputy chief warden guy. Matasetana. The Sakino Hanashung. Baba Junga. Majima Yatta Chu. Kitakata Gumino Ningen Yatuno of Mugger. Eh. So this. Nemo Kosaka. Orega Kitakata Gumino Ningen Data to stay. Shabano Jikin to a Kankega. Son Nakotova got the Ru. What a shinga kinish the Irunoa. Yeah. Some people might try and do a revenge killing on you. What is happening? Why is it happening? What is happening? そこに来て波紋の話。カリシャ公の手続きを私が進めた途端、国原たちは手口を変え、馬場を罠にはめることで、西島のカリシャ公が取り消されるよう仕組んできた。なぜそこまでしてお前の契機を延長する必要がある。
This thing is spanning so far and wide. Definitely feels like the biggest plot they've had so far. それ構成を所長を葬った真の敵を見つけてください。深夜、同房の囚人が眠ったのを確認したら、棒を出てください。ゲーム館に命じて、鍵は開けさせておきます。署内を出たら、そのままグラウンドを突っ切って何聖門から脱出してください
俺の勝ちや What? あー来たね最後に2で革命って札幌のローカルルールじゃそれなしなんすよつらいねそれじゃあ西島さんと馬場ちゃんとこうしていられんのも残りわずかっちゅうことで例のあれやってきますけどうん例のってあの no. ゲームか No, let's not do the imagination game again でもあれゲームっていうか日村さんの VR だから That feels like a big old waste of time right now Let's move on いいでしょ、今夜くらいそうやねまたおもろい妄想させてもらうかなそれじゃあ行きますよえー、っと、OK、まずは If we're actually doing another fucking imagination game thing where, like, there is no plot progression because it's all just happening in your imagination. Oh my god. Okay, well, this definitely now feels like padding. <laughs> this definitely now feels like a waste of time doing another one of these set. Like, the first time was clearly only existed to set up a mini game, which I assume will be a Sagema side story once we get out of the prison and into whatever. I, I guess this city. I guess this city right here will be the city that his bit takes place in. So, like, I kind of understand them setting that up. Although they could have done it later on. I don't know if they needed to interrupt the prison bit to do that. But to now <laughs> do another imagination section when we are literally, like, right before a prison breakout and we know that's coming. That is right around the corner. And they're just like, yeah, let's just fucking do more of this. I don't know about that one, Chief. <laughs> I don't know about that one, Chief. I've just managed to break my controller, so that's good.、Uh, how, have I, how have I fucked this up? Oh, there we go.、Uh, I totally didn't even read the line. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, looking real good. So, what's your tool tale today? Well, now that you know I'm a former detective, let me tell you about a big case that I broke wide open. You want me to pretend to care while I'm behind bars? Odd notion, but I guess it's a change of scenery. I know I didn't say pretend to care, but I,、uh, I feel like、uh, it's gonna be a tough challenge to pretend to care about bro's fucking history. We'll probably never see you again once we're out. Like, I don't care. <laughs> I, just wanna, I just wanna break out at this point. Better change my look again, though. It's such a worse look with the long hair. The short hair is so much better for him. It ain't the right garb for a cop, but. It doesn't matter, just let me start the story. Alright, l it begins in this bar on Lavender Street. Let's go there, the place is called Ambitious. Oh boy. Sound off in the comments. Is this padding? Are you glad that this imagination section exists, or should they have cut it? Because I'm definitely feeling like. Snip, snip, motherfuckers. Sejima san, what a busy man you are. You're late. Hey, I thought we were working. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> I thought that was still her talking. Hey, I thought we were working one of your cases. Well, you see, on this particular night, I had an after hours date with my beloved Kaguya chan. And together we walked to Ambitious, a local bar. Alright. <laughs> Hooray! Happy for your sex life, my guy. Glad you've got it going on. Oh, they have darts and a pool table. If you care to play, I think I'd prove quite the challenge for you. I'm pretty good at these games. Sure. Oh boy. <laughs> Where's the don't play either and skip to the next bit option? Let's shoot some pool, but I'll tell you right now, I won't be taking it easy on you. <laughs> And neither will I take it easy on you. Select the game you want to play. I don't fucking know. Is four ball gonna be over sooner? Not gonna lie. I didn't know there were different types of pool. I've played pool quite a few times. 
It has always been the same kind of pool. I didn't I, I didn't know there were variations. I do enjoy pool and snooker. I do find that quite fun, but I didn't know there were variations of it. But I'm guessing four ball might be faster if there are literally only four balls. Maybe it'll end sooner, so... Okay, uh, enter shot mode with A. Left stick to change the position. You could do. Right. Banking. Why are we... Why are we doing this now? Game. Oh, boy. Tilt back the right stick to draw back the cue stick. Okay. Release the right stick to execute the shot. Now let's have you try it yourself. I mean, how do I adjust the angle? Or is it just a tutorial so I'm just supposed to smack it forward? Okay, it was just a tutorial so I was just supposed to smack it forward. Adjusting shot angle. Left stick, good, yeah. Right stick changed camera angle. God game, come on. We're all falling asleep here. Why is my camera... Wait. <laughs> Hang on, I'm really confused. Why am I aiming the fucking yellow ball? Shouldn't I be aiming the cue ball? I'm so confused. <laughs> I get... Am I... I guess I misunderstood. I was just like speed reading it because I was like, yeah, 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 let's just get to the game. I was just like speed reading the instructions because I thought it was just teaching you the controls. But was the was it also saying this is a different? I don't fucking know. Can we fucking? Is there is there no way to skip this? Quit? Yes, yes. Wait, no. No, that's quit the entire game. That's quit the entire game. That's not quit the minigame. <laughs> what is the put? Like there are there aren't even pockets in the corners. So like, what what are we? What what goal are we aiming towards here? There's just like red triangles in the corners. I'm genuinely so confused. Like what <laughs> what is the purpose of this mini game? There's no pockets to pot anything in and I'm not even hitting the cue ball. I don't understand. Why is she hitting the cue ball? How is that a point? What? I <laughs> It's a point if you hit both balls? Is that it? Is that how you get a point?
This is this is genuinely horrendously bad. Like if I hit the white, why am I, I? I do not understand why I'm hitting the fucking yellow instead of the cue ball. Yep, okay, so the fucking idea of the game is to just hit two balls. What a shit game. Oh shit. Hmm. I don't think there's any way I can really hit two balls here. Unfortunately, unless I slam it in here and it hits the white as well on the way out. I was really hoping it would fucking bounce more off to the left from that. <laughs> oh my god, this is so slow. Holy fuck. Falling asleep. How is there not a skip option? I don't want to play your shit minigame. At least she's racking up points. You know what? I'll just start skipping my turn and hopefully she'll just rack up points and we'll get it over with. And by skipping my turn, I mean I just do this. Oh no! Wait. <laughs> the accidental point. They said it couldn't be done. Oh my god. Fine. I'll fucking try it then. What? I wasn't aiming it over there, though. Oh, do you have to hit? Oh, whatever. I don't care. I do not get what the fuck these shit rules are, but... Just fucking end it, please. Please, God. It says exit minigame is the view button, but I just don't trust it because that is... You say quit, and it says exit minigame, yes. But then are you sure you want to quit? I don't know. I feel like it's going to take... Because the, the, the issue I'm having is that that is the same way you quit the actual game. So even though it says minigame, I'm just like... I'm not sure I trust it. But fuck it, let's try it. Maybe, maybe I can get out of here. Maybe I can get out of here? Oh my god, I can get out of here. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, fuck. Okay, let's just... I, I don't care. I don't care. Please. Good lord. Get me out of this fucking... Minigame tutorial mode. Oh, there's some fucking mafia thing. I don't care about your fucking backstory. Random person who I will probably never see again. This is actually so fucking bad. Exciting. I don't care about you at all, my guy. Why did they think this was a good idea? Why did they think? Let's fucking have you walk around fucking dreamland with some random guy who we have done nothing to actually make you care about. Doing irritating fucking minigame tutorials. 
and meaning preventing you from actually getting on with the plot. Twice! Oh my god, there's a lot of mafia here. Unbelievable scenes. And now here's an excuse for you to fight in this dream thing. Oh. And so, I killed them all. Wow, I'm so good at this. Oh, is that it? Oh, thank God. Thank God. Fuck me. Pace killer. Just fucking murder that pace. Absolutely destroy it. Pace found dead with one shot to the back of the head. Oh, it's fine. At least we're back into this now. It's okay. It's okay. Oya-san no itta tori su ne. Demo, maji de samishiku narimasu ne. Ma na. Sonna koto yori. あとは今日移送されてきた囚人たちが動き出さなきゃいいんだがな。ま、その時はその時でしょう。大丈夫。きっとあの二人もそれでも逃げ出せますって。Is it breakout time? It's breakout time. Let's fucking go. ここ出たらグラウンドやな。え。あれは。ああ、ノー。リリー。リリー、he not really cool, but smart. Wait, is it that guy? I couldn't. I couldn't honestly tell from that angle if it was the same guy that helped us. Okay, no, it wasn't. We're fine. We're fine. だからどうにかして自力で逃げ。ああ、カバンロ。小坂。どこに積もりだ、サイジマ。国原。お前。てめえに逃げられちまったら、せっかく呼び寄せた兵隊たち無駄になっちまうじゃねえかよ。So the fuck unlocked all of these fucking dickhead cells? Our cell was left unlocked. Some other bastard just go around being like, yep. 
you can get out, and you can get out, and you can get out, and you can get out. Everybody gets out. Hi. Anna Kuzdemo. コウサカさんは生かせ中やろか。言うんじゃないですかね。コウサカさんなら。そうか。よう聞け。お前らは殺さん。その この Okay. Time to paralyze some motherfuckers. It's fine, they're still alive. Right, yeah. Yeah, huh? <laughs> yeah, that happened. Gotta hurry to the southwest gate, Babachan. The exit's right over there. Better make a run for it before someone comes after me. Made it five steps, well done. Boy, it's fucking creepy fucking face himself. Bitch. 
bitch boy. Winning formula right here. Eight times out of nine, he blocks. One time out of nine, he doesn't. Can't even do a fucking heat move on him. Inducing fight. I really don't like his fucking clunky playstyle. Not that I like any fucking of the playstyles particularly, but Sagemus feels uniquely bad. God damn. Now do the other arm. <laughs> Fucking right up. Ato no shuri wa jibun desu. Kiru nari yaku nari shitaru. Iki no koru hoho kura ya aru yaro. Do the fucking other arm. <laughs> and then do the fucking nuts. It's fine, we didn't kill him. Omae wa gokudo wa aite ni senso o fukkake tan ye. Kon kurai no kakugo deki totta hazu yaro. え、殺さないで。殺さへんよ。交差が半島の約束やからな。いけるか、ババちゃん。はい。Are you serious, my guy? Lol? The gate's open, by the way. Do you want to just fucking leave too? Himura-san! I'm早速の刑事だったんだよ、俺。これで俺が月見野の武勇伝持ってたわけじゃないって信じてもらえます、サイジマさん。Cool story, bro. I still don't care about your tales. Ah, if you show me, I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the one who's going to be able to get the one who's going to be able to get the one who's going to be able to get the one who's going to be able to get the one who's going to be able to get the one who's going to be able to get the one who's going to be able to get the one who's going to be able to get the one いろいろ裏のある人ですよね、あの人も。はあ、よかった。早く行ってください。何分か前に俺が警察とレスキュー呼びましたから。<笑>
今行かないと捕まっちゃいますよ。Oh, fucking no、お前はどうするお前はどうする決まってるじゃないですか。Oh, don't get caught ここでちゃんと結局のお前を出撃します。一緒に行かなくていいんですか俺らがここにいないと何があったのか証言できる人もいないっしょ。それに今脱獄しても。この雪じゃ捕まる前に遭難でもして死ぬのは目に見えてるから。日村さん。Truly devastated that the most interesting character, Himura san, will not be gracing us with his presence any further. Absolutely tragic times. I really wanted more Himura content. That was, that was what was required, and we're just not going to get it apparently. We're all gonna have to have a good old cry about that together, but it is what it is. Only the worst for you, babe. Choo choo, bitches. Oh shit, we got a fucking snowmobile gameplay section? Okay. Okay. I'm back in. I'm back in. Uh, we got tackle. Oh, is it literally just like the auto run sections? Are you are you okay back there? Just circling the prison on snowmobiles just in case. Sure. <laughs> Did that guy just appear out of the wall? What the fuck? Bro, this takes me back to fucking Modern Warfare 2, the original Modern Warfare 2. I kind of low key hate that I have to say the original Modern Warfare 2. LOL! Get fucked on by the snowmobile master! Oh! Hello? What the fuck is this? <laughs> just, yeah, don't mind me, just going over a rickety bridge on my snowmobile! LOL! Get stunted on falls! Oh, more people driving out of the wall there, I see. That's crazy. They're crazy for that. Not sure how that missed. I swear that I went straight through that guy, but sure. <laughs> Nailed it. Oh, yeah, that was some incredible, incredible scenes right there. I'm holding right trigger, motherfucker. I've never let go of right trigger this entire time, believe me. Clappers. Ah, 
My face is apparently getting a little frosty there. <laughs> Fucking wrap your arms around my waist and lock your fingers together then, you dozy. Oh my god. How stupid can you be? Oh my god. How double stupid can you be? Sage and stonks continue to fucking collapse. Dumbest M ever. For real. I can't hold on. Well then change your grip, you dumb fuck. Like Christ. If you just wrap your arms around his waist and lock your fingers together, then you don't have to like think about holding on. You're just like wrapped around, you're good. And then Sage and are like, oh, I'm going at high speed on a snowmobile. Better fucking 180 my head and, uh, you know, not slow down. Not slow down and see if he's okay. No, I'll keep going at top speed whilst not looking. Are we about to have a fucking Sage and wilderness arc? Bring out the hunger meter. Gotta balance that. Oh, fuck me. Don't, are the wolves closing in? Like, what are we doing here? <laughs> it's a dog! Really? The giant dog. We're really doing this, huh? We're really doing Sajima versus the giant dog. Cool. Love it. I fucking heat move you? Grab the dog. Grab it, Sageman. Grab the dog and heat move the dog. Guess not. Guess that's not a thing we're doing. Oh no, the dog has vanished. Oh no, the dog has returned. And I pressed A instead of Y. Because reading is difficult at my young and tender age. Haven't quite got the grasp of language yet. Right. The bear's trying to kiss me. I, I'm, I'm not a furry, but, you know, each their own. Did I say bear? Silly me. This is a dog. How could I get that wrong? Oh, nice. The Olympics are here in Yakuza 5. What? Did he not? I was mashing X like a motherfucker. How did that not succeed? I was mashing X as hard as anyone has ever mashed X before. Weird. They were really on the coke when they came up with this shit, right? <laughs> they, they fucking laid out lines and they all took a big old snort 
and they were like, now let's create Seijima's plot in Yakuza 5. And someone went, he fights a fucking bear in the wilderness after a snowmobile chase. And someone else went, that's so fucking sick, dude. Who the fuck is this finding us now? <laughs> what a weird ass chapter, man. I just did a quick Google. MW2, the original, was 2009, and Yakuza 5, obviously, was 2012, because they always set them in the year that they release in. So, I'm thinking that these devs, three-year gap, that's long enough for them to have taken something that released and then been like, let's implement it in our next game, and then done so. I reckon the devs played COD Modern Warfare 2, played the snowmobile section, and went, fuck yeah, give us some of that, and then did it, but, like, a lot worse. <laughs> That was uh, that was like nowhere near as responsive feeling, shall we say, as as the well, you know what? To be fair, I haven't played the Modern Warfare 2 campaign in about uh, 15 years, so you know maybe maybe it's uh, maybe it handles worse than I remember. But I remember it being pretty fucking hype and responsive in comparison to this, which was <laughs> quite a clunky snowmobile section. Fun, but clunky. But I feel like that was their inspiration there. This is this whole last bit was just a fever dream. Snowmobile chase into fucking bear fight into random dude picking us out the snow. What do we got next? Chapter three. Frozen roar.